Hey everyone, Sirloin of Beef here, and welcome back to Court Farms. It's uh, been a while since we've uh, been here with uh, me going back on, uh, with me, you know, being on vacation and all that. Um, but happy to say that we are uh, back and running, uh, you know, as a, our regularly scheduled videos. So, um, so good to be back. As you see here, we are in the month of January. We left off in December. It was. Um, getting kind of dark pretty much the end of the day and we just uh finished up with everything so uh, we went ahead and forwarded on to january and as you see here we're at the store we got this uh dhl container here because per this right here you see we got the farmer's market um mapped because that's the highest price for milk right now which we have 15,000 liters and if we look at the price fluctuations January is the best month so figured we would go ahead and uh, start the episode off nice and easy gonna go ahead and run to the farm and fill this up and uh, we'll make a trip over to the the store to get that sold because you know this time of the year there's really not a whole lot to do it's a lot of just uh kind of fast forwarding through the months and you know trying to <laughs> get to the um, spring and summertime when we actually got some uh, work that needs to get done because of course all our fields are are planted and set and ready to go um, with the exception of one that uh, I remember we were saving out for um, for corn um, which is uh, also one of the reasons why we want to go ahead and get this milk sold because we want to make sure we can get some more money in the bank so we can get the uh, planter or at least lease a planter uh, to to get that uh, to get that field planted when the time comes. But I hope everyone is doing well. I definitely uh, missed being uh, away. This is probably one of my favorite maps and probably one of the favorite uh, playthroughs that I got going on right now with uh, all the other ones on the channel um, I don't know what it is just something about just this map and and everything I'm just really really enjoying it and I hope everyone else is as well uh, but let's see we're almost back to the farm here let's jump inside get a little inside view here for a little bit Definitely need to give the uh, tractor a bath again here. It's looking pretty dirty. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Looks like uh, we got a little bit of a, some slippery ice there. It looks like, man, it just got all kinds of wonky there. <laughs> all right, well noted. Might have to slow it down a little bit. I'm coming in through here a little bit too quick. Uh, let's see. I'm going to turn this around. Let's see. Let's up here. We should be able to back it up and then turn right. And then we should have a straight shot into getting it into the the milk tank is yep there we go all right let's run back here uh, there we go. uh come on gate there we go Getting a little stubborn Oop. and <laughs> that super strength off it's actually Put the container on top of their cheeto a little bit. Don't tell no one. Uh, let's see. Go start filling. All right, there we go. Fifteen thousand liters. Let's. Get this out here. Oops. Close the gate. Let's get off to the store. 
Hopefully no more accidents. Traffic looks good, let's go. But yeah, I definitely hope we can go ahead and just uh, purchase one of these up in, in the upcoming future here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's go there, okay. Um, my brain is still stuck on Starfield controls. <laughs> but um, but yeah, hopefully we can go ahead and just purchase one of these trailers in the, in the future, because I definitely enjoy um, I definitely like them. I think they're really high quality and will just look really good and everything. And let's turn here, I believe it is. Of course, I would like to also get one of the other, like a forklift or something that is designed to actually take the containers on and off because it's kind of kind of cheaty to do a, like I did there just grabbing it with the super strength and putting it on but I actually don't have any other trailers on here that hold this much and I didn't want to make multiple trips so I know last time we did the semi truck version um, this time I figured we could just use a tractor save a little money so we don't have to lease a, uh, a big old truck and we could just haul it this way I yep, I'm still stuck on his <laughs> controls. Uh, but yeah, I was trying to get third person here. Uh, let's see. We are on a tight road here. Here we go, looks like we're here. That's one of these anyways. Let's see. Looks like it's all in the same place. Alright, let's see how much we get. that what's at uh, 34 37 almost 38 38,000 yen just over with the uh, environmental bonus that's awesome so definitely got a nice little cash injection there uh, because of the weather here and being a little weird we're gonna go ahead and just drop that off there and let's see here we go I'll return that and return that and still made pretty good money off that because it's only I think I think it was only like uh, fifteen hundred two thousand dollars for the trailer and then the, the the tanker itself is really cheap it's only like it was only like two hundred and fifty dollars or something like that to lease it so definitely made our uh, our money's worth on that for for sure for sure what was that I didn't see anything there all right <laughs> seem to be crash prone today all right but let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna get this back to the farm here and since we uh, really don't have much else uh, to do today we're gonna go ahead and uh, fast forward it on um, either a month or two until we got something going on and I will bring you all back then see you soon all right everyone here we are we're in uh, at, in April now almost noon here we had to 
fast forward it a little bit because it was uh, pouring down rain for most of the day and can't really get much done in the field here, especially with the must and some linnets uh, pouring down rain. So we had to fast forward a little bit through the through the day here, but we are back. And this is the soonest, if we take a look here, uh, that we can plant corn. So since we're still pretty much waiting on all of our other crops here, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get this ready now for the for the corn to get in. And actually, I just thought of something before we do this here. Uh, let's see. The, well, the pH value says it's good. Uh, oh, well, the pH, that's actually... I, okay, so that's going to be the... Uh, what you call it, the lime. I'm thinking of the nitrogen. Uh, let's see, which we need to go up to this one here. Um, I guess it's, see, I'm trying to think if we need to run the um, slurry over it or not. Um, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and start fun. If we need to, we can always just put add fertilizer to it. So let's go ahead and get it done. And uh, in the couple months there that we were, um, it, that I fast forwarded through here, we were just uh, taking care of some of the animals. Nothing nothing too crazy um, didn't really make any changes uh, went ahead you know fed the cows fed the rabbits um, still waiting on our wheat and barley fields well actually just the wheat field because I don't think you can use barley but we're waiting on the wheat field um, to grow here before we have more food for our chickens because we've already uh, fed them everything that uh, that we have as far as our reserves and everything so they still have a little bit left but they are running low um, hopefully the wheat field will be be grown and ready to be harvested before they run out because I'd hate to lose out on the productivity there even though we're not really doing a whole lot with the eggs yet we do have a couple pallet foals um, that I've stuck to the side there um, so I would like to keep that production going. Obviously, I hate to lose out on the on the the eggs because uh, they do they do take a while to uh, to accumulate. You know that it's not like a pallet a month or anything like that. It's almost like a pallet and a half or so, like every other month. Or it's kind of weird how it works. You don't really get a full pallet a month, it seems. But then again, maybe I just need more chickens. I don't. I thought I had it maxed out, but I don't know if that changed in the update or not that came out a, a few weeks ago. I might have to look at that. Maybe I can add some more chickens in there. All right. Well, we're gonna go ahead. Uh, we're gonna get this uh, field prepped and ready for the drilling, and uh, I'll bring you back when we're. Uh, when we're getting that uh, planter to put the uh, to put the corn down, so I will see you soon. Hey everyone, we're back here and we are making the last couple passes here on the field. We got everything else uh, plowed up. or using the subsoiler, but you know counts as plow uh, state. So we got that done here. And we're going to go ahead and I already purchased, or we're not purchased, um, because of how expensive they are. And I actually, you know, got one that's a little bit more expensive than, uh, than what we needed. But, I, you know, I wanted to use something a little different here, kind of interesting. I already got that up at the uh, shop here on the other tractor on our, on our Lambo. We're going to go ahead and grab that here in a second. And hopefully that will will make quick work of this because it's 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 bigger, but I don't think it's going to be too big to where it's not going to work for what um, we need it to, you know, because I know it's obviously there's a lot of tight spaces in here and everything. All right, but we've got that 
cleared up and we can actually go right through here actually I always forget there's a little kind of entrance here we'll go this way back to the farm if we can get through the mud <laughs> you know as kind of a an aesthetic kind of kind of thing and everything I, I kind of enjoy the the mud mod and everything on here but I, I think um, with some of the difficulties that it poses um, and adds to the game, I, I don't, I'm not really sold on having it on every single playthrough. But if if, if y'all like it and, and you think it's definitely something that this should be on there and the map supports it on any playthrough we're doing, you know, let me know and I'll I'll throw that on there for everyone. All right, so let's get this backed in here. And we'll just leave that there and let's see we're gonna need to get some liquid fertilizer here I don't know how much it's gonna hold so we'll buy one of those for now and we need some seeds so we'll buy that many that should be good and then we'll go ahead and tab over here, as you see, we got the case, uh, I think it's called, what is it, the Early Riser, yep, Early Riser Printer, uh, 12 row, 30 inch, so we got that, and then of course we, I also leased the crop sensor on the front, since the uh, other tractor, the Fent is the one that has the ice area thing on the, built into it. This one doesn't have one, so I went ahead and, and leased that so we can, can utilize that when we're planting and everything. And plus it's got the uh, fertilizer on there so it can hopefully manage that as well. So let's get this filled up. All right, looks like we're not gonna take the full amount of fertilizer, so that's fine. And let's see, I'm just gonna get over to the seeds. So you should be able to back this up and then come over on this side and oops drive right into them see how many seeds this will hold come on, come on. <laughs> we're just gonna drag the seeds with us there we go. Is that not going to work now because it's tipped over? There we go. Okay. Why is it stopping at 70%? Ooh, it's being weird. Come on. I think it has to do with it being tipped over. I think it's being weird. All right, and well, here's where we're going to have to do this here. Let's see if it'll load on there properly. There we go. Perfect. All right. So that should be more than enough. Now the challenge is going to be getting it back to the farm and fitting through everything. Don't run into me, please. Thank you. All right. Alright, so let's make this trip back to the farm here. Shouldn't take too long, so I won't uh, cut this out. It'll be a minute or so to get there. 
And then hopefully we can get this planning done real quick as well because it's a, I think this is a nine meters, I think, width on it. So it should have a pretty good width to it. And we're not doing a huge field. Definitely hope some of the crops come through on their prices because uh, leasing the uh, forage wagon, that's going to definitely uh, cost a pretty penny. If I'm not mistaken, I'm going to have to to read up on it. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think we even have to wait for our corn to get fully grown, like harvestable, before we can uh, silage it up, chop it down. Ooh. And obviously, it's because of how tight the areas are, we're going to have to get all the way to the... Um, field before we open this up because it's going to get quite wide got chickens obstacle one is this gate <laughs> yep I knew that was going to happen because I knew this thing can barely fit as it is come on and of course it makes it even more difficult with the mud here because then we start getting stuck on that so you can lower that down to pick us up a little bit all right well let's see can we oh, it's gonna get stuck we're gonna have to back all the way out Okay, let's try this again. Attempt number however many. Yeah, there we go. We got through. All right, and then we'll go straight here and turn around this big pile here. All right, there we go. Now we can open it up. the crop sensor right. all right so let's see so we want to turn on the crop sensor and then we'll turn on the cedar lower that down we're on corn let's go And this is going at nine miles an hour. This should take care of it nice and quick. Definitely kicks up a lot of dust. Either this is a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be, or this isn't as wide as I thought it was going to be. Because <laughs> it looks like we're going to have to make a few more passes than what I thought here. But definitely trying to squeeze through the gate in there and everything. I definitely think this is the, the right size. Anything bigger, I think we would have had a much more difficult uh, time trying to get this in.
definitely a nice let's get rid of this because it's way in the way definitely a nice piece of a uh, of equipment there though definitely looks good especially with the the tractor and uh, even the uh, sensor on the front all the colors and everything definitely looks like it uh, goes together pretty well go ahead and uh, get this finished up and I'll bring you back when we're uh, when we're done with that see you soon all right and we're back here making the last couple passes and uh, that definitely went by a lot faster than I than I thought it was I guess I'm just a bad judge of time today but this seemed to be uh, moving moving right along rather rather quickly there it didn't take too long so that's definitely good. I, I'm definitely loving this uh, setup here. It definitely seems to be working quite well with the uh, sensor on the front and the uh, variable seed rate. And then, of course, as you can see by the mini map there, where it's showing the nitrogen and it's applying the nitrogen as well. So we're getting the fertilizer in there all at the same time. So we're not going to have to come back over this field again or. Uh, do anything like that um, except maybe to uh, eliminate some weeds but past that I mean this field's uh, going to be good to go just like the others and we just got to wait for it to uh, wait for it to grow so we'll go ahead and get this one last little spot here and ending up right at the uh, exit again perfect Uh, oh, um, hit the wrong buttons. There we go. Try and turn off the crop sensor because it looked like it was still running. All right, so let's see. I know there's a lot of mud here. Hopefully we can get through this pretty easy. We'll go ahead and uh, empty this out so we can save the seeds and fertilizer for next season. Think I didn't think of this turn. Exit <laughs> is a sharp turn. Uh, uh, come on, can it pull it through? Uh, let's... Of course, we got the thing on the front to get caught on stuff. There we go. All right, we made it. Might have hit a hundred things on the way out, but we made it. And just like how we have the uh, herbicide left over here, we'll see if we can go ahead and empty. Uh, let's see. Yep, perfect. There we go. Lined up just perfect. All right, so we'll drop that there. I'll just drop this right over here. And we'll go ahead and return these since we are done with that. Don't want to incur any... Uh, charges that we don't that we don't need there all right and we'll give this a, a nice spray down here and that will be the episode i uh, thank everybody for stopping by i hope you all enjoyed the content and have a re wonderful rest of your day and stay safe out there bye bye